Good morning, my dear friends. It is uh, about 10.30 in the morning already, and I haven't even put on my makeup yet. It's been laying around again because the heat is so bad here in Southern Maryland. It, it, you are going to breathe, and I wanted to do a little bit of weed eating because, oh, my gosh, our, our, our lawn is getting overgrown in the back. And just a few spots that my son can't get was an electric lawnmower. These are the fingernails. I, I put three coats on them. They have white, pink, and now some reddish orange. They took all of them. I didn't even bother to change any of them. I showed that in my last video, these how to do your own manicure. And today I just wanted to show you a couple little things. I don't have my lipstick on yet because I want to show you how I put it on over my wrinkles. I have wrinkles. I actually bought this, um, I ordered this water stain because I know if you stain your lips first and then let them dry and then and naturally use some lip liner to hold it in and overline a little and then let it dry and put on some lipstick that it will last so much longer. It'll, it'll it's actually lasted me overnight. I woke up with lipstick on. But with this one, I thought it would be so good. And it really is a very good stain. It's stained very good. But it says water stain, and they're not kidding. It's water. When you first put it on, I thought it would be like the benefit that I used to have. When you first put it on, it, it goes into your mouth, and your teeth turn pink. And you can taste this. And I, I, I mean, it really stains if you're willing to not go as... I probably put too much on the little sponge tip. Sorry, everything hurts at this age. Please write in the comments if, if your body hurts all over too when you're getting your 70s. None of this hurts as bad in my 60s and 50s. 50s, I was still a runner. But you see, it's this little doe foot. But it's very, very water. So I wanted to show you a couple that are a little bit better like the color stay liquid the color stay stain is wonderful and i also wanted to show you the flower beauty that might want to help you keep your lipstick on a little bit longer and i want to do um my eyeshadow with you again a little bit i'm going to use my my dior that i've loved i've had it for about a year and a half now and i've so far i've it, this comes with a cream base already so you don't have to worry about it even though i put the max fix on first and I put this all over. This is the second one. A little shimmer to it. And then the third one up in here because we have hooded lids right here. <laughs> and uh, if we emphasize them, They'll just look worse. You see right there, I'm hooded. I'm coming down. It might not look like I am because I put a little bit of this brown, or you can use bronzer or um, blush if you really want, but I don't think pink looks too good up there unless you're wearing a pink. I'm just going to put a little bit of that up there, and I put a little bit of this underneath my eyes because the last video I noticed I had gone too heavy underneath my eyes for my age. I must have been thinking, I was young again. But we're going to put on a little bit um, darker colors now toward the end. And I'm not so much worried about showing you the eyeshadow. I mix these two together. I love mixing things together. You should try that. It just works out wonderful. I don't know why I do this every single time I make you wait. Because I always have this on 10 way. And I literally scare myself to look. Instead of looking almost 75 in a month or less than a month, about a month and a half, I look 80 or 90 <laughs> from that mirror. So, okay, we're going to mix these two together here and just go here. But I want you to see something. Always remember, I always said start at the very end of your eye. Not the pupil. That's the highest point, and that's where you want to go, the pupil, and right at the corner of your eye. And go straight up. Because if you don't go straight up, I'll show you in a minute with a pencil. See, I like to go straight up. And I'm going to use the brown Costa Rica pencil today. And honestly, 
So many people emphasize your crease, but if you have deep set eyes or you're getting hooded, it's not too good to emphasize your crease all the way in. You can emphasize anything toward the end here because that's where we want to bring out attention to supposedly the cat eye that the young girls wear. My son got me these little, um, I swear it hurts every time I use my hands. Would you write in the comments? And because everything's not about beauty, we start to live in quite a bit of pain in our 70s that I didn't have in my 60s. And um, in, in my 50s, I, I, I stopped, I think I, I could run five miles a day and weight lift for, for, and do one arm push ups until I was about 52 because it was the only thing I had. My husband was in such bad shape. I just, sometimes the children and I would go out running when they were younger and they couldn't even keep up with me on a bicycle. Now I couldn't run somebody chasing me with a chainsaw. It's terrible. But I've let myself get this way. I, I have to start fighting back. I don't know if you can see that that, that is a total gym over there. In the corner, next to my Alexa and all that black thing standing there, my son bought me that for my birthday because I started off in my 30s using a total gym in the house. I guess I didn't leave the house that much. But, uh, and, and I got muscular, I mean, from that thing. I, I want to start it again. I want to fight back. I want to, um, I've more or less given up on the, uh, the older age. And I know that my body is deteriorating. And, and I'm not fighting back enough. I'm letting it deteriorate. My son just got me some fish oil um, tablets that I'm making him take them too because he's not the best of health. That's why I sneak outside and do a lot of weed eating, which I shouldn't do because I come back in with I have osteoporosis and all Not, But you know, the pain, the, the rheumatoid, the works. It's, like, it's constant pain. I just, I just don't know if you all are in that too. I, I must take a thousand aspirin a day. If I ever bleed, I'm going to bleed out. But let's not make this about me again. I make everything about me. You write in your comments how you feel if you're in your 70s. And in your 60s, I, I really think it's going to change a little. We, we get a little, um, a lot more unhealthy, to put it mildly. Okay, now, okay, right here at the end, if I go, I should have used the black pencil. I really should have used black to show you better. If I go and like, you know what I'll do? I'll use a fluid eyeliner. That'll really show it. I'll just go ahead with the brown. This is Costa Rica. It is a beautiful color for MAC. You might really want this since sometimes you don't want to always stick with the blacks. This Costa Rica is a brown with a burgundy tint to it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But I think it would be on oh, my hands. A lot better for you if I showed it to you with a felt tip pencil. Look, I mean a felt tip. Now, if we use the thing that makes a tip on its own when young people, it still might make a tip on you. Your eyes might not be as sunk back as mine, and your lids might not be. And you're, if you're not as old as me, you, you definitely don't have that problem. But if I go like this, I'm downturning a little. Just a little. But I have to hold my lid and basically go up over the crease and bring it down, not too thick, just to the corner there. I got it a little thick. We'll see if we can fix that with one of these. Fantastic pointed Q-tips that my son got me. Good heavens, we're always using our hands and our fingernails. But these things are just wonderful. I made it a little thick. But you see, that gave the cat eye look more because I want to get stuck in that crease if I don't lift it and go straight up. If I go straight out, I'm going to go back showing, emphasizing my downturn. 
I'll do the same thing on this side, even though I was going to wear brown today. But you can wear brown. We'll do the same thing here. We'll come up right here. Now you see? If I come up right there and then come out right here, like everybody else does, look at that. That's, just, that's kind of downturned. See? It's just even spreading out worse. Because I didn't hold my crease and I didn't go straight up. I don't know why I made these other faces. Now this time, I'm going to try and do it. Holding the crease up. Going above it. Coming down like this. Just over to here. As you can see, that's still a little bit thick. That's when I let loose, it's going to give more of the cat eye effect. If I hadn't filled it up, it would have stuck in the crease and left a downturned effect. Now, that was really the only thing I wanted to show you on eyes. Um, I already have, I don't have any face makeup on, except I do have that, um, the, sh the Dior foundation powder. I really like that for just the fluffing it over your face. And I don't put on moisturizer first. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it just, just clogs up our wrinkles more when we get older. Some things just have to change a little bit when we get older. And this concealer, I've used, um, I've taken a brush, and I've used what, um, I believe it's called BMX Gal. She, she recommends so much nice stuff. I've used... She told me about the bare minerals. I've had so many of of my friend subscribers <laughs> tell me the best stuff. Like uh, I forgot her name, but she's getting ready to try the Milani, um, the uh, the other kind of mascara, the the um, tubing, which we'd probably like because I, as you can see on this right eye, I don't have fake eyelashes on today. All my eyelashes came out because I thought, well. Since we're older, I'm going to try those lashes you put underneath for us. Hmm. And the glue pulled out every old 75-year-old lash that was there. Not my right eye. So I'm waiting to grow my eyelashes back. Okay, and this, for now we're going to do our lips. I have fake fingernails on, so I, I better use a brush. I'm going to overline the heck out of my lips. And this is a MAC eyeshadow base. The last time I used the NYX glue one. And it worked good too. I'm putting it in those wrinkles. But this is the pencil. Has a little bit of a lipstick on it. Now that's an eyeshadow base. So you can use concealer or eyeshadow base or anything. We're going to put the same Bare Minerals powder. Or you can use any powder. Ta well, not talcum. Talcum not good for you. Any kind of um, powder. Now don't think this is going to hide the 100% because I'm almost 75 years old. And there's, there's no sense pretending I'm not. I mean, I've earned it. I've, so have you. We've raised our family. And this whole world's not about makeup. But when I, I saw a, a, a YouTube short and a wonderful photographer had taken a picture of an older woman coming out of a restaurant with her husband and used her as his video. And I thought that was just wonderful because for some reason when we get older, 60s, 70s, 80s. We're not, we don't have a makeup brand for us. A whole lot of them, like everything is for the young people. We don't have a whole lot of anything much for older people. And we, we, we don't have, no one pays much attention to our clothing unless we were very well dressed. And, and naturally, this woman was very well dressed. It was very kind of the photographer. 
to take her picture and put it up because very few people will say, oh, I'm going to pick that, that older woman that's coming out along with the three young girls that all look like models. He picked her. Kindest thing I've seen. Now, this is a MAC lip pencil in um, cork. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but when people seem to have that Botox, they have some kind of a little brown, like, like their lip goes up like this, but there's a little brown. Just a hint. So we're going to do that with the lip pencil. We're going to overline. This is part, not down here. Because that's when you start looking like the Joker, when you go down in here. Overlining the lowest part of my bottom lip. And I'm going over the wrinkles. I'm not going to hide them totally. I'm not hiding from the world that I'm older. I just want to look decent for being older. Now we're going to try the lip stain. This is the Flower Beauty. And I think they only come in dark colors, but the darker the better. They really, they stain better. For heaven's sakes, this one was not as watery as that first one from Amazon. Now, if you have a husband or a boyfriend, you might want to sleep in this. Because lip stain, you'll wake up in the morning with nice pink lips. Men won't know. Because <laughs> as soon as this dries, this is going to stain my lip. Always try to go in by your teeth. My hand's not steady. I'm trying to go over the brown. I'm hoping you'll be more successful than me. Because every one of you are so much smarter than you think. We've been misrepresented, like all the scam artists call us. Even the people on TV pretend, on, not on TV, but on YouTube, will pretend they're old because everyone wants to take advantage of an older person. I can't just, we're, we're actually smarter. Now, this is where I'm really, really sorry in so many places that I don't know how to edit. Because you don't want to sit here and wait for this darn thing to dry on me. And I don't know how to do it until it dries. I have a tissue in here. I probably have one in my pocket. Because the kids make fun of me. They're like, if you borrow any of mom's pants, you have to check the pockets. Because my nose is always running, she always has a tissue. You see? It's starting to stain a little. I'm only blotting it now. You should let it totally dry. Just so you won't have to wait forever for this. The color pop one's also good for this to dry. Now, I'm going to put on, you know, these, these Maybelline... Um, Super Stay pencils are fantastic. They really stay. And I have a habit of kind of biting my lip all day long. I stay on. I don't know why I'm going to fix up like this for because I'm going to try. I probably won't last five minutes. So we have so much. I'm going to try and do a little weed eating. It shakes my arm. And, and if my son finds out, he'll scream at me because he doesn't like me doing this stuff. See right there? Going straight across. Do you notice anyone that's have a lip injection? It's straight across.
Now, I think this is going to last you all day long. When I, I, I forgot, yeah, I did powder over that. I was going to say I forgot. I think it's the old timer starting to come in now. I'm not sure. Okay, what else did I want to show you? Well, I haven't put on any, any rouge yet. So I'll put the uh, cover girl on. I, oh, I'm so sorry this is not closed. I can't close it and reopen it again with these fake fingernails. I don't know how anybody survives with these things. It, but even though I've made these small, I forgot the color. Mm -hmm. Soft mink. I swear sometimes I just use the brush that comes with it. Because we're, we've got to go up high. We are almost, this contouring stuff has gotten so out of control. Everything is contour, contour, contour. I don't believe we need, this is just my belief, that we need to contour anymore. Unless our face, if you're fortunate enough to have a much fuller face. I don't think you need to contour. It's, unless, you know, I might do occasionally a little bit on my nose. But it's still not going to make it much smaller. See, I'm putting that blush up really high. You basically say I'm putting this thing in my eye. Almost. Because anyway, pink concealer is a thousand times better than any other color concealer anyway. If you have uh, dark bags under your eyes, dark circles, you can put a green or a yellow, or mixed green and yellow together. And, uh, you know, as a little um, toner for underneath. I didn't put on highlighter, but you know, you can always put on highlighter. I don't know if you want me to or not. And, uh, actually, I don't have any sitting out. Uh, I didn't. I'll find it once I end the YouTube. <laughs> That's what I always do. God bless you. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. I, I didn't feel... Uh, like I'd accomplished much other in my whole life other than raising my children. And that's all I used to ask God to let me live long enough to raise them. But now that I've gotten older and started YouTube, that's why I say if any of you feel really like I don't, I'm in a rural area, so I really don't have anybody to ask questions to that are a female other than my son when he comes home from work late. He's not a female, so he's like, I don't know, Mom, I don't know, don't ask me bad enough I send him in in Ulta in places like that where he's like I, say, I don't want to ask anybody to help me because <laughs> I'm like well ask someone to help you find that no no <laughs> he's embarrassed but I don't that's why I'd like for you to leave in your comments if, if you feel a little neglected and a little well let's just put it the right word depressed I, I spend a lot of time where I used to just totally decorate this house and now I'm letting a lot of things go like our back porch needs attention and and I'm trying to get to them but it's too exhausting for me so I'm going to try to start to fight back on that total gym starting next week and though I hurt my hands hurt and everything I'm going to fight through the hurt I used to be like an old Amazon woman to be honest with you about three years ago I was still taking an electric chainsaw and cutting trees not cutting trees down, just trimming them with the light, you know, things like that. I, I used to be that, but now I try and, I, and my son just comes home to hearing nothing but complaining. That's all the poor child hears anyway. God bless you. I've ranted and raved enough. Leave it in your comments if you feel a little neglected or, or if there's anything you ever want to write to me privately, always use my Instagram account. No one else can see that. Like, if you have an illness and you, you didn't want to complain to somebody, I'm the biggest complainer in the world. I should have named my channel the Pessimistic Channel. God bless you for watching me and putting up with me. And for so many subscriptions, God bless Chef's Kiss to the kindest people in the world. I swear, when we get older, we get nicer. Sometimes. I don't know. My kids don't agree with that. They say these are from hollering them, these marks, <laughs> for years. God bless. Goodbye.